Hi, I'm Michael Gable from Fairmont Equities, and these are our stock tips for the 27th of June, 2016. Just make sure you're familiar with our disclaimer in that any advice is general advice only. So let's have a look at the ASX 200. Uh, this is a daily chart. Obviously, there's a lot of volatility um, with Brexit, um, but having a look here, we'll, you'll notice that since those lows uh, in February and April, um, we've been able to draw a trend line here and the market's just managed to come back and retest that last week um, before bouncing off. And then clearly last Friday, it, it, it broke through slightly. Um, I've been telling clients to expect um, some resistance, sorry, some support around that 5100 area. That's where we are now. Um, the market should have a bit of a, a bounce here, but I wouldn't be surprised if we do retest uh, that 5000 region. So that would be the ideal level of support where we can start thinking of uh, potential buying opportunities. The other um, area to look at would be gold. Um, so with the prospect of uh, the UK now leaving the EU and the uncertainty that that creates, um, it's also led to an increased, uh, uh, an, in an increase in the potential of gold to go up. So what, what I'm looking at is the fact that the US Fed has now less of a chance of increasing rates over the next few months, and that will increase inflationary pressures and, and therefore the prospect of uh, demand for gold. Um, what I've got here, it's, it's not a gold chart per se, but um, obviously here in Australia, we can gain access to gold through ETFs. And, and this is the QAU ETF, which is a beta shares ETF. So it, it essentially tracks gold and its currency hedged. And this is the ETF that I've been trading for clients. So um, essentially what we've seen with gold is it has been drifting back for a while and this, um, this downtrend was broken earlier this year and it's come off and it's, it's retested this downtrend line. So gold here continues to look quite constructive. Um, I'm expecting the price of gold to head up to about uh, sort of 14, uh, 1450 uh, uh, US dollars per ounce. Now, in terms of the QAU ETF, that accounts to, it, it relates to about a $15, $15 uh, um, 50 price. So there's still some decent upside in gold, and I think any uh, short-term weakness is a buying opportunity. I'll cover off on a couple of stocks here as well for today. Um, West Farmers, I'm quite negative on West Farmers. I have been for several months now. Um, we had a, an update from the company last week uh, which further highlights some of the issues, in this case with Target and, and their coal division. Um, but clearly the, uh, you know, the supermarket division will continue to come under pressure from Audi. And, and I'm worried about a resurgent Woolworths uh, increasing the competitiveness, increasing their own competitiveness, and therefore uh, being a further thorn in the side of coal supermarkets. So if we have a look here, this is a monthly chart of West Farmers. Now, it was trending up from the depths of the GFC, but you'll notice it's really struggled to get past $40 over the last couple of years. There's a bit of a reversal uh, signal here, and then it actually broke that uptrend last year. Now, this flat price action was during the time that, that Woolworths was essentially shooting itself in the foot and, uh, and was basically giving it all to, to West Farmers on a silver platter. Now, if the share price of West Farmers couldn't increase during that period of time, I mean, what chance do they have to see a share price increase now, now that competition is continuing to heat up? So you'll notice the chart is looking weak. I'm expecting levels um, sort of back here in the, in the mid $30 uh, region, even closer to $30. So West Farmers for me is a sell uh, at current levels. What I have here is a daily chart of BHP. Uh, obviously, the, the US dollar is starting to increase again, and that has a certain impact on uh, our commodity stocks. Um, I believe BHP will start to come under pressure again over the next several weeks. Um, this is a daily chart. So what we'll notice is um, it has managed to go up quite nicely since those lows earlier this year. But since that, uh, that peak a couple of months ago, BHP was sold off fairly sharply. It's managed to head a bit higher, but you'll notice this is very corrective compared to this impulsive move down. What that means is, looks like all we've got here is just a flag formation. 
as part of this, this downtrend. So now that BHP is starting to break again, um, you know, if it can't really do much on the upside, I'm expecting uh, BHP to continue to fall um, back in that sort of $15 region. So if you're looking to buy BHP, I think you can be a bit patient and get it at cheaper levels. Uh, those lows earlier this year, uh, at the moment, I still believe they will hold, um, but we just need to be a bit patient. And as I said, over the next several weeks, if you want to buy BHP, uh, I think you can do so at better levels. Well, that's it for me today. Um, as always, you can uh, check out our research and our blog on our website, fairmontequities.com. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you for the next trading update. Thank you.